Hi everyone, this is Dr. Simranjit Kargil, Principal School of Law. Today our topic of discussion will be acid attacks in India, a burning issue. Before discussing this topic, before discussing the legal provision, I would like to highlight what are the learning objective of this particular discussion, what the topics we will cover and what you all people will learn out of this. So first I would like to explain you what does acid attack means under the Indian penal codes. So because you know many times it has been seen that we just take if any corrosive substance has been thrown upon someone we do include it as a acid attack so in this discussion we will briefly discuss that every corrosive substance is not acid attack then we will be briefly discussing meanings and definitions of acid attack reason behind these acid attack that why people are committing the acid attacks and very very important consequences of acid attacks in our country. The very next important discussion of point will be the present law of criminal law amendment act 2013. What was the earlier law and what is the present law we will be briefly discuss that also. Then the rising trends of acid attacks and case related to the acid tax in India. Then the very important uh, some reformation schemes has been offered by the Supreme Court in India. In that perspective we will also discuss the Supreme Court's uh, compensation scheme and guidelines regarding the acid attacks in India. So before going into the deep discussion what does acid attack mean? I just want to throw some light upon that what does acid attack means. So an act of throwing acid or similar corrosive substance on the body of an another with the intention of disfigure, maim, torture or kill. You can see as per the definition of criminal law act, you know intention is plays very very important and crucial role. If negligently you have thrown the acid upon someone's body, it does not mean that person have committed the acid attack. So intention should be there and the substance which has been thrown upon someone else's body should be you know having that substance that nature which can ultimately disfigure or maim and sometime it may be life threatening also. So what all types of acid is also very very important and it is very important discussion of point. So as you must have been heard there are different kind of acids in the market but if a person has thrown the acid upon someone else then acid must be either sulfuric acid either nitric acid, either hydrochloric acid. Why only these three acid? Because the substance, the nature of these acid is that crucial that they have that power to you know disfigure or maim or kill someone else. So you know whenever the person has committed any kind of crime the major reason behind the crime is very very crucial whenever the person is presenting in the court the main factor why that person has committed the crime is very crucial because acid attack mostly is that kind of crime which negligently has not been committed and the person is having a firm attention to commit the crime so mostly you know whatever is in the society and my viewers must be aware about the same that the major reason of acid attack so far what has been come out is ref refusal of indecent, indecent proposal or unacceptable proposition like whenever someone is proposing someone for marriage or for any relationship and if the girl is refusing for the same you know that male ego cannot get satisfied out of that so they just think that how a woman can think herself more superior than him so just to satisfy that thing that how this happened and just to you know satisfy her ego and let her know that if you think that you are very gorgeous you are very beautiful then I will settle you down so the people usually throw the acid upon another person's 
face. So by giving this explanation, you might be, you know, thinking that whether the acid attacks are gender based crime. So let me tell you very clearly, whatever the data till now, you can see on the screen also, whatever the figures has been submitted by the National Crime Record Bureau till date is the majority 97% acid attacks has been committed against the women only but yes though in this figure I am just representing those crimes which has been reported there are many acid attack incidences which has not been reported till date another point is again you can see that teaching a lesson to the woman for bringing down her arrogance for good looks you know this male ego cannot get satisfied with this aspect that how a woman has denied that proposal just being thinking that she is more beautiful than him yes there are some cases where land or money dispute can also be the reason of the commission of these acid attacks property conflicts are there theft or robbery is also there relationship conflicts you know family disputes are also part you will surprise by seeing the figures in the screen you can see there are 32 people in our society that which still exist and they said they don't know why they have thrown the asset you know this unknown clause is actually a very you know pinpoint situation where we need to know that some people just thrown the asset without having any intention over there so that is something really really a serious concern then consequences whenever we are discussing any crime any problem it's important to discuss reasons it's important to discuss consequences so as the consequences will be affecting society at large individual accordingly laws are supposed to be framed here physical consequences i would like to take your attention on the first ground physical attention physical consequences so here you know some people might be thinking this is very controversial statement but yes being a woman i always give this statement I, that i'm strongly believe that acid attacks are more serious and having more physical consequences than the rape victim so how i am saying this because you know whenever a rape victim comes in society appears in society no one can ever judge from their looks that the lady is a rape victim you can never judge once that incidence has been happened with the lady if she comes out of the situation through counseling you know through rehab or anything by by you know support of the family we can never judge from the body of a woman that she is a rape victim but physical consequences of acid victim is so high that she can never come out of it after the number of medical surgeries plastic surgeries still that reflects upon the body of the women you you can see in your society you know when acid attack women come in the lawns come in the parks come in the malls how people start reacting if you are mature enough you are educated enough you will not react but how you will stop a child generally children got scared to see these women so you must have been observed that whenever they are doing their physical appearance they used to cover their face so in that perspective i strongly believe that physical consequences of acid attack victim is more high than in a rape victim because we here in india always think that you know rape is such a heinous crime such a heinous crime and such a serious offense that a punishment should be very very higher i would like to you know reflect something that what was the laws here in india of acid attack before the criminal law amendment act 2013 so yes psychological consequences and you know physically appearance is not good of any individual then certainly their psychology get effects a rape victim can always get herself you know regain in the society but the acid attack victim cannot come to the society as back because acceptance of people is very very you know non-responsive in that way economical reason i would like to ask a question to the my audience that how many acid attack victims you have seen in your organization where you are working whether it's a hospital colleges you know universities malls you will never see a acid attack victim 
you know is on the main role or either in any role so yes when a woman get you know affected with the acid attacks do they lost their jobs because some jobs are that which are specifically based upon your looks like receptionist air hostess there are many jobs specifically if i'll talk about the women then certainly their looks actually play a very important role so we have seen we have you know having a number of case studies upon the same where women does have lost the economical consequences and suffered it a lot social consequences social consequences mean when acceptance of society is not there when society doesn't want that this acid attack victim should come back and you know they don't accept it in the way in the way of the organization or in any way so it is very also important to aware the people that we need to we should accept all these acid attack victim as a normal human beings yes familial and marital disruption there are number of cases where it has been observed that family dispute marital disruption is there women has to you know sacrificed their marriages after being the victim of acid attack because you know it's not always important that acid has been thrown upon the woman who was you know young and who was unmarried there are the many cases where the husband has thrown the acid upon the wife Phase. So here, I would like to, you know, take your attention on the topic or on the slide that is acid attacks are gender-based violence. Being a woman, I certainly believe yes. Acid attack, according to National Crime Record Bureau, whatever the reported case till dates are, 85% cases where the victim of acid attack. are women so if in that perspective we will see then certainly acid attacks are gender based violence and you will see only 15% acid attacks are committed against the men and in majority of the cases where the acid attack has been thrown upon the women it is done from the men side but where acid attack has been thrown upon the men it is again from the men side so we need to see this that who is the actually accused of the commission of that crime then others covered under the category of 2% only and most of the cases age of the victim is 14 to 30% So here again, I would like to take your attention on the what is previous statutory provisions because before discussing Criminal Law Amendment Act 2013, I would like to take your attention that before 2013 amendment, acid attacks were used to be dealt under the 320 clause of Indian Penal Code, which covers the grievous hurt. so grievous hurt what does grievous hurt means grievous hurt means you know whenever someone's joint someone's tooth someone's you know any body uh, you know structure get disfigured due to that attack or simply if i'll give you the example that if i have you know thrown a very hot coffee or hot tea or either hot water on someone's body it will come under the clause of grievous hurt and the punishment was same for the 7 years but you will see that how you know crucial this is that we were considering throwing a acid and throwing a tea or throwing a hot water we were considering it at the same level so if a person is having a burns out of hot water and if a person is having the burns out of acid you can understand the consequences so this was the irony this was the you know very bad situation where we were there before criminal law amendment 2013 but and the very important that there was no compensation scheme for the victim at that time but criminal law amendment act 2013 brings some positive impact brings some positive changes in the law in which they have introduced two sections in indian penal code one is 326a and another one is 326b under 326a the punishment was not less than 10 years and it can be up to you know imprisonment up to the life and with fine also and very very i think more impressive was 326b that if a person dares to if a person attempts to throw a acid upon someone else's face and 
again get not succeed still that person is supposed to pay the you know fine and the imprisonment is also there for five years which can extend up to seven years so after having these two provisions in the indian penal code certainly some you know threatening some eye opening some awakening it came in the mind of the people that they should start thinking that acid attacks are actually a offense very serious offense whenever i ipc has changed there are certainly come some kind of effects or impacts on the indian penal codes uh, on the C crpc code of criminal procedure and indian evidence act similarly keeping this in perspective 357a 357b has been inserted in the code of criminal procedure 357c has been also added under 357a and b it has been made compulsory that every state government has to pay and has to introduce their own compensation schemes for the people 357c of crp states very clearly that no hospital can deny to give the you know first aid to the acid attack victims they cannot take it as a matter of right that this is a police case and we will not deal with the victim immediately they are supposed to give the first aid to the acid attack victim without asking for any kind of remuneration then section 114b has been inserted in the indian evidence act which provides that in case somebody has thrown the acid it will be presumed that the person has committed the offense until or unless that person proves the same so here in screen you can see certain rising trends in acid attacks though after you know i certainly believe that you know you can see after 2018 the little decline started coming because maybe people started getting aware about these kind of crimes so here on the screen you can see the state wise rising trends of acid attack where very surprisingly punjab is also on the number 5 so reason for the rising trends of acid attack in india why acid attacks is you know you know it's rising and why it has not been controlled by the government or by the administration the very first major reason is ineffective regulation of sales of acid in india that's very important that whenever the sale of acid and whenever the acid has been sold in one way or another it has to be regulated by the government in a proper way yes we were having the weak law earlier but in 2013 amendment even after that people are demanding that separate legislation should be there to control this crime our compensation schemes are really really poor which are you know actually uh, acid attack is that kind of crime where women need a lot of money for the treatment so compensation schemes should be very very adequate Yes this is very important lack of awareness among the people people take it very casually throwing the acid upon someone else face is very normal for them so we need to create this awareness that acid attack is an offense and a very serious punishment for the same is there till now the people will not get aware they will you know take it lightly and they will usually commit that crime So here you can see this on the screen that we will be sharing some landmark judgment. The very first one was Lakshmi versus Union of India. This was the incident which happened in year two thousand five. Lakshmi ah uh, on the in this particular girl after that one movie has also been made. Chapak might of many viewers has been seen that movie also. But this lady, this case was the biggest reason that lot of new guidelines has been issued by the Supreme Court related to the acid attacks. So with this girl, what happened? She was just fifteen years old, and you can see the screen, the picture before and after. She was a beautiful girl, but as she just refused the proposal of one stalker, he just take it as a matter of right that I will satisfy her. ego and he has thrown a uh, acid on her face so after this particular case uh, this lady has now presently running a foundation ngo on the name of chana foundation and she was also honored with the international women empowerment award and after this case supreme court have issued a number of guidelines related to the acid attacks 
Another case is Shabana Khatun versus Union of India. In this case, I know most of the cases what you might have been seen of the acid attack, you might have been heard and what you have heard till date is throwing the acid on someone else's body. But this was very surprising case where Shabana was forced to drink the acid. You know, this was very crucial that her all internal body parts get very, very badly damaged or her esophagus and her food pipes all get damaged and till seven months she was not able to eat anything. But the saddest part was that that Shibana was so poor she cannot get herself treated and for till seven months she was not, you know, getting compensation either from the state or either from the Supreme Court. So another leading very important case is state of Maharashtra case versus Ankur Pawar known, also known as Preeti Rathi case. In this case what happened at 24 years very beautiful Preeti came to Mumbai to join as a nurse in the novel hospital. And when she came to the Kolaba railway station in May 2013, someone just called her name Preeti and when she turned up and that accused has thrown the you know acid upon her face again on the same ground that Preeti has refused his proposal and she came back to Mumbai for joining the naval forces. So after the struggle of you know uh, almost a month Preeti died due to that severe attack and the victim was accused under section 302 of Indian Penal Code and 326A. Here you can see the Supreme Court's direction on the sale of acid after Parivartan Kendra cases. This is very, very important. You know, if we will not regulate the sale of the acid, we can never control this crime. So, what was the, you know, uh, guidelines from the Supreme Court that whoever, any dealer, any authorized person who is selling the asset has to maintain a log, has to maintain a register where he will keep every entry to whom he is selling the asset and for what reason. Again, the buyers have to specify the reason because, you know, the government cannot ban the assets properly because it has been used many ways, in other ways, in the labs, in the, you know, uh, in engineering purposes or in many other ways. So, its stock can be maintained properly, but it cannot be banned. So, whatever the stock, any dealer, any shopkeeper is having, they have to report to the SDM after of their area after 15 days that what is the sale of the acid and to whom they have sold and for what purpose. It's very important. Again, no acid will be sold to the minor and in case any undeclared you know, stock of acid is there, then SDM is having the power of imposing 50,000 rupees fine upon that dealer. Again, educational institution, hospitals, all these, you know, laboratories are using the acid, but SDM of that area must be aware that all who are keeping the acid, how much quantity they are having and for what particular purposes they are having the acid. Again, state compensation schemes after the, you know, Lakshmi case, Supreme Court has given the guidelines to each state that they are supposed to issue some compensation scheme and minimum compensation scheme should not be less than 3 lakh rupees. But very surprisingly, till date, only 17 state and 7 UTs have prepared these schemes. So again, lack of uniformity is there in this particular aspect. And in Punjab, there is a scheme of financial assistance to the Acid Victim Scheme 2017, in which 8,000 rupees monthly compensation has been given to the acid attack victims. Here again, it's a sad story, it's a sad picture, but still I want to show you some glimpse of acid attack survivor before and after. How beautiful these girls were, but still they are happy, they are beautiful because there is a smile on their face. So, in concluding remark, I would like to take your attention that it's very important that being a prudent people of the society, we need to contribute, we need to aware people, we need to educate people, we really need to check on the sale of acid. Being a you know prudent citizen, we should also contribute in the same that is any shopkeeper is selling the acid without any justified reason. 
and yes certainly we can have better laws on this particular point and we can rather have a separate laws on this particular point so cost of compensation should include effort uh, you know it should be effective because medical treatment of the acid attack victims are really really very expensive and it's not possible for every victim to get that treatment done thank you so much